My name is Beatrice Caroline Piri. I'm 18 years of age. I'm a child climate ambassador, a youth reporter. Hello, hello. Today we're looking at deforestation in relation to... Energy. I live in a banana in Lusaka, Zambia. And you're listening to 99. I really love radio. Radio has become a part of me. And I want a world where each and every person is fully informed. They should have the most of adequate information in their fingertips. I realized that I was affected by climate change in 2015 when Zambia experienced erratic water supply and erratic electricity supply. Where I come from, they depend on electricity for them to draw water. I had to wake up 05 every day just to go fetch water because if I go at 06 hours, I would find that the water is not there like everyone would have rushed for it. So climate change for me became personal because I realized that I wasn't the only one facing such kind of uh, situation. The whole Zambia was actually affected. One of the major environmental problems that we're facing in Zambia is that of endless destruction of forests. In Zambia, we're losing about 300,000 hectares of forest that is cut aimlessly. And uh, through the works of Beatrice, she gets an opportunity to go in the community, interview marketeers, interview constructors on the state of the environment in Lusaka. When I pick up that recorder, it's always a challenge and it's always inspiring and motivating because I know that whomever I'm going to um, interview out there, it's either they have the information or they don't have the information. I, as a youth reporter, is going to use the tools that I have. You know, the tools that are available, which is radio. Right now I'm in Kanyama compound. Uh, it's one of the uh, compounds in Lusaka. They have uh, described that the demand for charcoal has really gone high due to the erratic electricity supply. It's really bad, but I hope that people's mindsets can actually change. We had a campaign where we intend to plant 3,000 trees, and this campaign is called Greening the Grey. So we're trying to make sure that the grey that is left as a result of mass destruction of forest is replaced by green indigenous trees that are going to help with different environmental benefits. When I listen to Beaches on radio, I feel inspired and she's doing a lot of things that can benefit our country and bring out the very best of every young girl in our country. I'm so very proud of Beatrice because she's someone who's now become this inspirational figure in our community and many young people really want to be like her.